there, this is Teresa Jackson with another creative tutorial for you. While you're here, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in a more hands-on approach to your learning, visit my website, orchardviewcolor.com. I offer one-on-one -on -one classes tailored specifically to your learning needs. All right, let's get on with the tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to find a huge collection of custom Photoshop brushes designed by Kyle Webster. We'll start by looking at the brushes panel. And if you don't see the brushes panel on your screen, go up to window and all the panels are listed here. The check mark tells us that that panel is already open. We see the layers panel and the brushes panel is open. Photoshop provides you with four groups of brushes to start. These are the default brushes that you get when you first install Photoshop. If we look in the first set, general brushes, these are all your standard round tip brushes. The next three groups, dry media, wet media, and special effects are all custom brushes that are made by Kyle Webster. So there's a pretty good assortment here to get you started, but there's a ton more if you know where to look for them. We'll find more brushes by going to the panel options in the upper right hand corner of the brushes panel. Towards the bottom here is a link. It says get more brushes. That will launch your browser and take you to this page where there is a ton of brushes. You can download the latest one with this top button, but if you scroll down, there's many more sets here as well. If you don't see this, it's because you're not logged into your Creative Cloud account. These brushes are available only to Creative Cloud subscribers. You can see by my avatar here that I am signed into my Creative Cloud account. Make sure that you sign into the same account that you use in your Creative Cloud application. So what I'm gonna do here is download these watercolor brushes. I'll click on the download button and that started the download and it's going to download that file to my downloads folder. The download completed and I'm back in Photoshop. I'm gonna go back to the panel options and this time choose import brushes, navigate to my downloads folder and choose this ABR file. That's the extension for Photoshop brushes. And I'll click open. And if I collapse these groups, we'll see added at the bottom is the new group for watercolor brushes. And I'll open that up to see that there's a whole bunch of watercolor brushes built in here, tons of them. So every one of those downloads that you can do from that website is gonna give you a bunch more brushes like this. Let's try out a few of these brushes. I'll switch my color to black because white on white won't show, and then just choose one of these watercolor brushes and do some strokes. Notice when I chose one of these brushes, it automatically switched my tool to the brush tool. I was on the move tool. Let's try that again. I'll go to the move tool. I'll choose one of these brushes and I'll start to paint. Notice that the tool switched to the brush tool from the move tool. And that's because the Kyle Webster brushes are tool presets, not specifically brush presets. If you look very close to the icon in the upper right hand corner, some of them aren't even actually brushes. This first one is the eraser. So as soon as I click that, my tool switched to the eraser tool and now I can erase. I'll go ahead and do a Command Z to undo that. Let's take a closer look at this. Some of these brushes also have a color saved with them. See this one with the white chip? That means that it's going to change the color to white. So right now my foreground color is black, but if I choose this tool, it switched my foreground color to white. And if I paint over here, I don't see anything happening. I have to paint over where I have some color so we can see that brush effect. So if you start painting with one of these brushes and it looks like nothing's happened, make sure that it didn't change your color to white. Let's go down here a little bit further because towards the bottom, there's some more brushes here with a color preset saved for white. But if we go down here even further, there's some smudge tools. So these presets aren't even a brush at all. I'll choose one of these. Notice that the tool switched to the smudge tool 
And now when I use this brush or smudge tool, it's smudging or smearing the pixels around. It's really important to understand how these tool presets work and know how to read the icons so you don't have any surprises like tools changing or colors changing on you. I know that happened to me the first couple times I tried these brushes. To make sure that you can see all of the preset information, go up to the panel options here and make sure that the show additional preset info is turned on. If it's turned off, you won't see what type of tool it is and that could throw you off. So we'll turn that back on, show additional preset info. That wraps up how to find, install, and use Kyle Webster brushes. Go download some new brushes and give them a try for yourself.